Hey everyone, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Skyrim. So I am looking for Shatter, the guy that had the debt to turn in his quest. Let him know that that's all done. Eskir Snowshod. You're new, I think. I don't think I've talked to you yet. You've caught me at a bad time. I've lost someone dear to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, can I ask why you're in mourning? It was my sister, Lilia. She served as a battle maiden with the storm cloaks. We recently heard she'd been killed. I... I find it difficult to talk about. Perhaps you'd be better off speaking to my parents about it. Anyway, I'm glad my work at the Blackbriar Meadery keeps me busy. Helps me keep my mind off of things. Um... So you work here, huh? Yes, actually. I'm partnered with Maven Blackbriar. I put up a chunk of the gold she needed to get the place off the ground. We've been staggeringly successful so far. In fact, I'm almost surprised how quickly she's generated business for us. My name may not be on the label, but some of my blood, sweat, and tears are in every drop. Uh, figuratively, of course. Makes me wonder if they're putting something in this mead. I'm pretty sure I already talked to your dad, who was at the Temple of Mara, and he talked about his daughter who went off with the Stormcloaks, but uh, tell me about your parents. My father was a Stormcloak soldier in his younger days. Now he just walks the streets spewing his hatred and propaganda. My mother is the priestess of Talos. She tends to the shrine and teaches his rites. I'm just not so sure she's delivering the right message. Are you at odds with them? Don't mistake my political beliefs as a substitute for my family values. They're still my parents, and I love them dearly. I just think they've let my sister's death skew their outlook on Ulfric and what he really brings to the table with this war. I'm not so certain that Ulfric's intentions are as noble as they think. I think Ulfric cares about Ulfric, and the rest is a smokescreen. I'd appreciate if you kept my opinion between us. The last thing I want to do is have my parents lose another child. Hmm. Interesting perspective in this guy. To you. This guy, we can turn in the guy who wants us to take that cask of uh, missing mead that he took off the Blackbriar's hands. We can turn him in there. I'm not going to do that because I think that would be dumb. I'd much rather smuggle the stuff away and uh, do the quest that way. But we were completely dry, but it's going to change very quickly because it's still pouring rain out here in Riften today, so there's that. Okay, so I have to go and find this guy. Let me see if I can find um, this Shatter. I just want to say that was like the best rain stopping transition I think I've ever seen in a game so far. Like, it was very natural. It wasn't like just, oh, suddenly the rain's turned off. No, it was like I gradually it stopped. I mean, the sun came out kind of quickly. It would probably still be uh, overcast or, you know, cloudy out. But I mean, this is much better than pretty much anything else I've ever seen in a game. That weather effect was really, really well done. Very convincing. I I still have no idea where this guy is at. Addicts, huh? What are you guys addicted to? Jewelry with legendary Argonian. I could show you some coin. Sure. Excellent. Thank you. The waiting. The insufferable waiting. Uh, what's wrong? Here, I, I want you to have this. Right. Don't ask, I just take it. Back Bounty. What? For a, a juvenile mud crab? Is this actually a bounty for a juvenile mud, mud crab? Or 
After hanging up my sword and bow to live a quieter life, I decided to study the lives and habitats of mud crabs here at the Riften Fishery. It is my hope that one day we might breed mud crabs much like we do fish. If only everyone else at the fishery shared my interest. I am in search of a juvenile mud crab so that I may study its growth. These young mud crabs rarely leave the water, so I now need an intrepid fisherman to catch one. They can be caught in almost all lakes and streams throughout Skyrim, though a breeding ground is said to be in the White Run west of Broken Fang Cave. Please make haste, I must show progress in my research as soon as possible. Note to self, it's been 12 days since an adventurer took, this, took up this bounty, and so far, nothing. How much longer must I wait? Sheesh. Go fish your own damn fish, then. Be careful. You have questions? I won't go back. Not like, uh, you know, you can't go get your own fish. Oh, pretty. The lighting in this mod is just really pretty. Like whatever lighting mod this is. Okay, I still don't know where the hell Shatter is. I cannot find this man. I swear to God, he's dodging me. He's moving around. Oh, it's uh, Ingen Blackbriar. This is the young woman who is apprenticing, right? Hmm? Uh, sorry, just thinking about my experiments. Why are you so fascinated by alchemy? It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Yo, that was pretty bleak. God damn. So you like poisons, huh? Tell me about your family. <laughs> My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. If only my mother would let me. I would make her proud. Darker circles? Like you want to become an assassin or something? We already know this, but sure, I'll ask it anyway. Are you an alchemist? I'm aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent. But I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My errant formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients, some of which are almost irreplaceable. What kind of ingredients do you need? To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Death Bell, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? I mean, all those but Nernroot are fine, but 20 Nernroot? Are you serious? That's, that's a lot. Sure, why not, though? That means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. Much appreciated. Um... You can have a Nightshade. Perfect. This is just what I needed. Here's some gold for your time. Yeah, Nightshade's no big deal. Um, any clues on finding the Nernroot? Nernroot is the easiest. It grows only by the water and makes a unique chiming noise. The only drawback is it won't regrow after harvesting. Nightshade is native to the pine forest and marshy tundra regions of Skyrim, and has a distinctive starburst-like violet flower. Last, we have Deathbell, which only grows in marshy tundra terrain. Its inverted bluish-purple flower bunches are unmistakable. Okay. My yeah, I... experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry. I already knew that. Again, so pretty. Gotta take a screenshot. Um... Yeah. Nerd Root's kind of expensive, too, though, you know? Like, it's worth quite a bit. I don't know. We'll see. 
I've picked up so many quests just looking for Shatter in this place. Oh, it's Helga. New around Riften? Take my advice. Stay at the B and Bar. The bunkhouse isn't for you. Yeah, it's for you to hit on all the men. Rare trinkets, the finest oddities from Morrowind. I think I've gotten a quest from just about every vendor here, which is kind of crazy. It just seems like this place has a lot more quests. Like oh, like this is the guy. Yes, lad. Did you need something? I'm supposed to talk to. Only twenty gold. About symptoms. getting into right. the guild, well, right? Supply is gone. Infiltrating it. Okay, I don't actually know if I'm supposed to talk to Shatter anymore. Maybe I already did. I could have sworn I had the quest to do that still. However. I am supposed to go over to um, the east of Riften to the Blackbriar Manor and steal this horse and then deliver it to someone. Steal the horse Frost and deliver it. So let's get that done real quick, if at all possible. We'll see how it goes, I don't know. So this should be to the east. Yeah, Blackbriar Lodge, okay. Over that away. Let's get the horse. Dance is still obstinately refusing to wear his barding. Whatever. Do what you want, horse. Whenever you get shot by an arrow and it hurts, you know, don't blame me. One over this way. I need to get, get up on these hills somehow. Re rest in peace. Oh, you're not dead yet. Dang it. How is my sword never ever bound? Every time it's not bound. What is this? Little mini workshop over here. Got a shrine and a offering here, I guess. Okay. Be careful. Carefully. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're on the right path, going the right way. What is this? Hey, turn root. One of 20. Dude, that quest had better, like, surely if we have to gather 20 turn root, it's going to be... It's going to lead to an amazing quest, right? Like, they wouldn't actually make you gather 20 Nurn Root, and it's just like, here you go, 100 gold, thank you. That'd be the stupidest thing ever. It's got to lead to, like, opening up the Dark Brotherhood quest or something. Oh, you're being philosophical. Okay. That's fine. Lost Prospect Mine. All right, let's get... Dance. I literally can't move. There. Good. Okay. Let's get some healing and stuff going here. I'd like to do self heal, healing or on self. And then, um. I do it on all you all too, but I can't right now. Uh, let's see here. Do our healing poultice. We'll do a... Uh, some food. Water, sure, why not? Okay, good. We've got, got a whole bunch of buffs going now. We're good. I'm sure this will not be a friendly mine. Already here splashing around. Mushrooms, very nice. Oh, I can't pick up this ore. Not even sure what kind of ore it is.
The mushrooms are so plentiful. I wonder if it's like that by default or if the mods are adding a whole bunch of extra fungi to the... Well, to everything. Random sack back here. This has got to be, like, spider-infested, right? I could take a bath here real quick. Get the, uh, soap buff. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Get the extra stamina regen going. Everyone else gonna take a bath too? No, just me. Hey, thank you for holding that torch for me, man. I really appreciate it. You know, now I can make sure I get every little. Uh, God, I was gonna say crack and crevice, but that just sounds really bad. I can get myself very clean. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated, man. Journal Hadrier's Third of Hearth Fire. You know, just when you think you've hit bottom, sometimes the Aedra throw you a rope. Since the rebels took over the mines in these parts, I haven't been able to find work anywhere. And along comes Burn, my old partner, with a deed to some old gold mine out in the hills. It's been too long since we did a job together. What, four years now? Nice to finally work with someone who knows the business. Sounds like the place was a steal, too. No, no one sells a mine for a song. I figured the place would be in bad shape, but not this bad. Barely a glorified cave. There may have been gold here once, but we don't even have a vein to start with. We struck out at random. Three weeks digging and the lower tunnel, but nothing to show for it yet. Nothing. No gold, no gems, no ore, not even any useful stone. The rocks around here crumble the moment you stack one on top of another. I'm ready to toss it in, but Burn wants to keep on going. Just a little bit further, had rear. We're so close, had rear. Bah. Burn wants me to head back to Riften for supplies next week. Might give me a chance to cool down. So I come back and nothing. No sign of Burn. It's like he just up and left. No blood, no struggle. He just ran out on me, I suppose. I've waited three days and he's not coming back. I'm going to head back to Riften and see if I can find him or find some other work there. No sense wasting any more time here. Burn, if you find this, I expect it better from you. Hmm. Mysteries missing in the mine, eh? Spiders or maybe Falmer? Did they dig too deep and find Falmer instead? Wait, is this the right way? No, it's the wrong way. It's over this way, yeah? Or wait, is there no way to go here? It's not just a dead end, right? Cause that'd be no fun. Is it just a dead end? That's it, no nothing? There's gotta be a story to it though, right? There's all this stuff back there, can I get back there? Yeah, here we go. Oh. Well, here's the gold. Whole bunch of gold. LOL, you guys just had to jump over that thing. 
I wonder if this is the guy. Oops, that was his skull. Was this the guy? Did he finally find the goal, but then he got trapped in a cave-in? In his excitement, he was too hasty? Sweet. We'll say no to a bunch of gold ore. I wonder if I give you... We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? If I were to give you a pick, a pickaxe, would you mine for me? Oh, you don't even have room for it, do you? You're like too full. Of what, though? Just picking up random food. Okay, I know of what? Of a ton of alchemy ingredients. Holy crap. Thank you for collecting all these alchemy ingredients. You're the best. Um, but, uh, what if I give you a mining pick, eh? Still no room, huh? Okay, whatever. I was just curious if yeah, I could give move. them a mining pick, if they would mine for me. That'd be kind of cool. That would be neat. Well, we found the gold. Mystery solved, I suppose. Very short dungeon. Getting dark out quick, isn't it? Hmm, is that... Is this it? There's a... Building up there. Just have to go around to get to it. <laughs> Probably is it. Down there a bit more. Careful there, Dance. Don't go too fast. You'll go flying off of this thing and break your legs. Then we'll both be sorry. Yeah, here we go. Blackbriar Lodge. Are you hostile? Wait, what are you doing? You just shoot at me? Whoa. Chill. Why are you so hostile? Well, um, that is a pretty horse. Dance, you see in this? This is that's a pretty horse. We gotta stop and loot these guys too, of course. I wanna see what this place is. And stuff. Um Where are the bodies? There's one. Well, we got the key. I mean, I didn't come here to fight, but... Guys didn't... Oh, just kill somebody else, huh? Or did we... Is it the bug? Yeah, it's the bug. Or you get too close and then they... There's... Their voice comes back on there. You guys did not give me much choice. Well, do we go in deeper here since we have the key now? We got attacked on sight, so I don't feel bad at all. This is the horse for sure. Frost, you are awesome, dude. I kind of want to take you and just keep you for myself. Can't I just steal you for myself? I can look at the stats on Dance, right? By, like, looking here. Yeah, show stats. So what are your stats, Dance? Level 10... 50 health, 500 stamina, 105 speed. Okay. And you, Frost? 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I guess I can't see stats until later. Okay, well, I'm gonna check this place out. We'll go in from the bottom just to be safe. I guess Maven, you know, won't be too happy with us, but whatever, man. Now ain't this Um Whoa! Jeez, that was okay. Sorry, I'm pretty sure I bashed you, bro. You guys can uncrouch now. We're in full-on assault mode, apparently, in this place. Well, they have lots of cheese. This is a good thing. You guys are stuck in the crouch animation. It's pretty funny. Got the three stooges back there still crouching. Nice bed. Ooh, unusual gem. I feel like I was supposed to be here then. Hey, sneaking. You know what I mean? Because there's an unusual gem here. I need those. Pretty sure for a quest. Yeah, it goes back outside. Okay, downstairs and loot the people downstairs. Yeah. Nice place, though. Lots of silver. Nice, open that. Not very much in there. Wait, what does that say? Optional... I don't even know. This is all stealing, huh? Deed of ownership, there it is. Okay, so I would have had to sneak in here one one way or another to get this. So wait, was that the thing? Hold on. Steal the stash from Blackbriar Lodge. I did that. I did the lineage papers. I spoke to the guy. Okay, so, I mean, I guess. I don't know how I could have done this better. They attacked me on site, so I fought back. And people died. R.I.P. Let's go loot the enemies down here and, I guess, call it a day. Bunch of steel stuff, nothing crazy. It's all stealing, even though they're dead. It's kind of dumb. I don't, I, don't I don't like that. All this cheese. You know what? Whatever. Just take it all. It's all, like, right there. It's so easy to take, you know?
taking their baguettes. The black glove sneaking, very nice. I don't really see too much else of value here. It's kind of... I mean, there's a lot of silver here. Which I guess I could sell. They do have decent value per weight. I suppose I can just take this to the... Uh, yeah, whatever. Just take it to the... Um, the... What the hell is it called? The fence. Yeah, that. Or I can decorate my home with them. That's an option, too. Oops, wrong thing. I hope my companions don't care about, like, morality stuff. Like, they don't care if I'm stealing everything. We did just murder the entire house, but I doubt they care about, you know, that all that much. But yeah, truth be told, there's not much here, really. Wandy is unimpressed. Okay, I think that's everything? I guess so. Minus the horse, of course. I'm really thinking I could just keep this horse. It's a very nice horse. It seems like it's faster than Dance is, I'm gonna be honest. Seems like it's a better horse. Where are we supposed to go with this? I'm supposed to go to Broken Hollow Helm Hollow as well, over here. Just south of here, I might as well. Oh yeah, it's definitely faster. Better turning radius. You guys get him? I was short the horse anyway. Even though technically I don't need one, another one. Like, sorta, kinda technically short a horse. What is this? Random cave. Let me see. Can I adopt you now? I can. What are your stats? Oh, dude, this horse is way better. Dude, Frost is way, 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 way better. Um, yeah, it's like 10% faster. It has... Like, four times the stamina and, like, five times the health. So much better. Brave horse. What's on you? Nothing right now. You just, you just look like this all the time. You just have this amazing... This amazing barding all the time. Well, um... I guess he's mine now. Yeah, he's just mine now. Well, you're my horse now, Frost. You're way too cool to give away to this guy. I don't care what he's paying for you. I can get gold anywhere. It's, I can't get a good horse like this anywhere, though. What is this? Like a crevice. It's an outdoor dungeon. That's pretty cool. Like a little mini instance. That's really neat. I like that. Oh hey there. You here to join the Dawn Guard too? Truth is, uh, I'm a little nuts. I've never done anything like this before. 
I hope you don't mind if I walk up with you. Hey, uh, don't tell Isran I was afraid to meet him by myself. Not the best first impression for a new vampire hunter, I guess. The Dawn Guard, you say? Right, you guys hunt vampires, yeah? I've been killing vampires. I suppose, um, we can go meet this guy, sure. Wasn't expecting to just stumble into DLC so quickly, but sure, I mean, why not? We're here. You've probably killed lots of vampires, huh? I'm sure Isran will sign you right up. I'm not sure he'll take me. I hope so. I've killed a couple, okay? Not a ton, but I have killed a couple. That must be it. Fort Dawnguard. Wow. Bigger than I expected. It is a pretty impressive fort. This place looks almost deserted. Well, I guess that's why they're recruiting. I'm sorry, bunny. I need your eyes. I need your eyes. They're good for curing diseases. Best to have your weapon ready, my man. I don't know what's going on here, but it's a bit weird. Oh, okay, you're just shooting at a target. Hello there. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Well, what is the Dawn Guard? We're vampire hunters. We search out and destroy those blood-sucking scum wherever we find them. Okay, where do I sign up? Ha! Huh. Isran's going to like you. He's up the hill in the fort. He'll decide if you're Dawn Guard material. Alright. Fair enough. Nope. Wrong thing. Thought I was scavenging, not chopping. It's just too much work. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. At least it lets you cancel after one. Please don't shoot me. I guess this is it. Wish me luck. Good luck. I think it's bad luck to actually just say good luck after someone says, wish me good luck. New recruits. Hmm. Isran will decide if you've got what it takes. Go on, he's right inside. Why are you here, Tolan? The Vigilance and I were finished with each other a long time ago. You know why I'm here. The Vigilants are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believe. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? I remember Keeper Carset telling me repeatedly that Fort Dawn Guard is a crumbling ruin, not worth the expense and manpower to repair. And now that you've stirred up the vampires against you, you come begging for my protection. Isra, Carset is dead. The Hall of the Vigilance, everyone, they're all dead. You were right, we were wrong. Isn't that enough for you? Yes, well. I never wanted any of this to happen. I tried to warn all of you. I am sorry, you know. So who are you? What do you want? Heard you're looking for vampire hunters. You heard right. I'm glad word's finally starting to get around. But that means it won't be long before the vampires start to take notice as well. Well, uh, what can I do to help? I need someone out in the field taking the fight to the damn vampires. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan was telling me about some cave the Vigilants were poking around in. Seemed to think it was related to these recent vampire attacks. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. 
Dim hollow crypt. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. We didn't listen to him any more than we did Isram. He was at the hall when it was attacked. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking for in this dim hollow crypt. With any luck, they'll still be there. Here, you should take a crossbow. Good for taking out those fiends before they get close. Feel free to poke around the fort and take what you need. There isn't much yet, but you're welcome to anything you can use. I'll meet you at Dim Hollow. It's the least I can do to avenge my fallen comrade. Solon, I don't think that's a good idea. You vigilants were never trained I know for... what you think of us. You think we're soft, that we're cowards. You think our deaths proved our weakness. Stendar granted you do not have to face the same test and be found wanting. I'm going to Dim Hollow Crypt. Perhaps I can be of some small assistance to you. You there, boy. Stop skulking in the shadows and step up here. What's your name? I I'm, uh... My name is Agmir, sir. Do I look like a sir to you, boy? I'm not a soldier. And you're not joining the army. Yes, sir. E Isra. Didn't I tell you to step forward? Hm. Farm boy, huh? What's your weapon? My weapon? I mostly just use my paw's axe when wolves are attacking the goats or something. My paw's axe. <laughs> Stand up, preserve us. Don't worry. I think we can make a dawn guard out of you. Here, take this crossbow. Let's see how you shoot. Ah, uh, crossbow? I've yes, never... Yes, a crossbow. Best thing for killing vampires. Just take a few shots at those crates over there. Watch the recoil. Take some getting used to. Already shooting like a pro. You need to concentrate, boy. Try it again. You'll get the hang of it. Take a deep breath and let it out as you fire. Is there more of this, or...? That's it. I knew it would come to this one day. I knew. And no one believed. Hey, heavy armor training. Um... So what is the Dawn Guard? We hunt down and kill vampires. Haven't you been paying attention? In the old days, the Dawn Guard kept all of Skyrim safe from those blood-sucking scum. Then people stopped taking the threat seriously. The Dawn Guard was disbanded, and the vampires came creeping back. Now I'm trying to re-establish the Dawn Guard, take the fight to the vampires for a change. I hope it isn't too late. And what is this place? This is Fort Dawn Guard, originally owned by the Jarl of Riften back in the Second Era. It was a bit of a black mark on the whole's history. I'm trying to put it to good use. It's a huge place. You need a lot more men, clearly. Any advice for a new vampire hunter? There's only one thing worth remembering. When it comes to vampires, if you're sloppy or careless, you're dead. And good people will die because of you. I've lasted this long because I don't take chances. I cover my tracks and I keep my eyes open. If you're smart, You'll do the same. Okay then. Thanks. Stay alert. Well, he did say take whatever you wanted. If they've got some... Take some getting used to. 
Harvesting Frostbite Spider Venom, interesting. Um, if they've got some decent silver weapons, I could give those to my followers, I suppose. Temper them up. Didn't say anything about staying out of any certain chests or anything. It's just lockpicking, but I mean, he said take whatever you want, pretty much, so... Sure. I'm gonna save just in case something turns out to be stealing instead. As I loot every single piece of silver in this place so I can make silver weapons and arrows. You need concentrate Ooh, carrots. Actually, I don't even, even to worry about carrots anymore because we can just make dragon meat and um, that's like as good. You know, the cooked dragon meat is as good as uh, bear carrot stew. Gives the stamina regen. Oh, nice. We got a workshop back here, huh? Dawn Guard Crossbow Crafting Manual. Marksmanship. Yeah, we got tempering, forge, everything you'd want here, really. <coughs> Archery uh, place here. Another Dawn Guard Crossbow. Spot back here for probably what was mounts, or maybe it was for, like, goats or something. I don't know. Something like that. I take out one of these crossbows and just practice it out here. Light crossbow. It's pretty good damage. Um, can I increase the damage on it? And what's it require? Oh yeah, just uh, steel ingots. Quite a bit more damage. It's a light crossbow, sure. Pull this bad boy out and try it out here. I haven't really tried crossbows too much yet. Do I just hold down left click to shoot? Yeah. Okay. Is my arrow here? Yeah, thank you. What am I getting for archery if I shoot this thing once? Whoops, whoops, whoops. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I don't know what ha would even happen there. Uh, Marksman 35, we're close to next level. Keep forgetting that's the wrong button. Okay. I could not tell any difference. It would take a long time to manually shoot here. It's quite late. Um, maybe I could train for a while. I don't think I've trained this level, have I? No, I haven't, but it wouldn't really matter. So we got a, a ways to go. Okay, if there are beds, I'm going to say we sleep here for the night. I'm going to assume they probably have some beds around here somewhere. It was a castle keep after all. There is one single cot here. Okay. Not really a bed. I'll look for a better bed, but if that's the only one, it's the only one, I guess. They got dogs here, too. And mushrooms and all kinds of stuff. To Dead Drop Falls. Uh, that's interesting. Oh, here we go. Got a training area over here as well. Can I use this? Yeah, I can use these. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I can train on these things. Nice doggies. Vampire hunter dogs. This 
kind of want to explore this keep a bit more. Day Spring Canyon. Okay, so that goes to the upper levels. There might be more, but I can explore more in the morning whenever we have daylight. I guess I can sleep for now. Can you, like, recruit more people and make this place bigger? That'd be kind of cool. There was, um... In Neverwinter Nights 2, I think. We'll see what's up here, too. In Neverwinter Nights 2, there was... A part of the game where you were given control of a keep and you could kind of build it up for yourself. And I thought it was a really fun little, like, mini game within the game. Having your own keep and upgrading it. You know, like, you had, you had to sink money into it and stuff, but it was pretty cool. All the stuff you could do. Just gonna leave this gold around him. Okay, take it, he said. I saw um, some weapon racks and stuff around here, too. I thought I saw... Thought I spied a silver sword, yeah. Ooh, an elven gray sword. Well, okay, we'll just take that, sure. Crossbow. Silver bolts. Dawn Guard Light Helm. That's not bad. Okay, this is where that cot was at. Yeah, let's just sleep here for the night. Um, I would train, but it's already so late. I guess we just sleep and then we'll get up and it'll be like 7 a.m. <clears throat> okay, good to go. Oh, more silver. Look, I need these for making... Oh, that's iron. I need these for making silver arrows and bolts, guys. You need to concentrate, boy. Try it again. It'll be important. So I can kill vampires. I should enchant a bow, too. I should just give these to my followers as well, so they have decent ranged options. Okay, um, I want to see what's on top over here, like the upper levels of this place. Then we can maybe check out the, um, the canyon. Or the, no, it's the Bleak, Bleak Drop Falls is what it was called, I think. It's like a proper castle up here. The crossbow, cool. This is all, like, Named specifically for the Dawn Guard stuff, too. So all came with the expansion, I guess. It's not bad. Dawn Hard. Uh, made of a rare silver alloy, enchanted to devastate the undead. Okay. It's a rare silver alloy. Does it temper with uh, silver? I guess I will find out. Shields magic silver increases the wielder's health and protects them from most life draining effects. Oh! Shield bash is also highly effective against vampires. Ooh! What can I do for you, friend? I'll be sure to put it to good use. Yeah, I want you to take this, um. I'm gonna take this shield from you and I'm gonna give you this Dawn Guard heavy shield. Be good at bashing vampires. If there's anything else you need. It's super effective. I think I've got enough for like everyone to have a uh Oh yeah, for sure. A crossbow. But I'll need to make many, many bolts for them. Okay, cool. That's a lot of... Oh, that was more, that was more bolts for a second. That's a lot of, um... Crossbows. Crossbows. 
All right. Let's check out the dead drop or whatever it's called. Then we were given a specific task to go and kill some vampires at a certain place. Let's hope they're not level 100 again. That was a tiny bit rough. A bit much, I would say. That's it. He's still here practicing. That poor man, his dedication. And that guy is very patient for teaching him. Um, where do we go? This is a training area. I guess I could break down, down some of these, um, goblets and try to temper these things, yeah? Use some silver fragments here. I can do dwarven stuff, too. Get dwarven scrap metal. Whatever, we'll worry about this later. Scrap silver... This could take a little bit, guys. I do apparently have... Oh crap, I just... I just... Busted up one of my kits. Dang it! Gosh darn it. I really wish you... Like, I don't see a need... To be able to make those like that. I don't think it's really necessary. Seems dumb. Got lots of iron. Make some charcoal and do some steel. Okay. In any case, I gotta see if I can do this. Yeah, Dawn Guard stuff looks like it does. No, it's just steel, huh? Wonder about the Warhammer. Oh, that's quite good. 376, and it counts as silver. Um, can I... It has a charge on it, though. So it's, like, specifically good against vampires and undead. But it's very, very good damage. Okay. And this thing? Yeah, pretty good. Just steal. I didn't even need the uh, other stuff. Okay. The bows, when you temper them, they gain so much damage. It's kind of insane how much they gain. All right. So yeah, comparatively, that's really good damage. 108 damage. I mean, it's like as good as... Is it as good as Daedric, pretty much? 376 versus my current glass one. This is a little bit better, but... It's definitely worth using the Dawnguard one... Uh, for the fact that we can do a lot of damage to vampires. We do get to make lots of silver uh, bolts and stuff, though. Maybe I just make a bunch of silver bolts. Give those to my companions. Is there a forge here, though? I don't see a forge. There's, like, everything but a forge here. It's unfortunate. Ah, oh, well, we got one back at the base. We'll make some back there. Okay, and I wanted to check out... Um... Over here, there should be that dead drop canyon. Not over here, past this. Dead drop falls, that's what, that's what it's called? Yeah, dead drop falls. Just chugging your morning ration of beer. I heard you back there. I mean, what the heck is back here? I don't want to just jump down there. It could be a really scary high-level dungeon. <laughs> Am 
I get up here? Yeah, we did just barely. Just some gold. Well, that's definitely the where you come out at when you're done. I will just save and hope for the best. Please don't be Falmer. Anything but Falmer. They're absolutely broken until you get to alchemy. What is the alchemy perk that gives you, like, immunity to paralysis? How far in is it? Can I get it soon? More poisons, regeneration. You get one hit point per second under normal conditions and five when submerged in water. Okay, that's nice. What about this one up here? Immunization. 50% more resilient to diseases and 25% more resilient to poisons. Um, just regenerate a bunch of stuff. That three points of magicka per second is really good. Plus 150 magicka. Alchemy is so overpowered, dude. Advanced filtration enhances all effects and purifies mixtures. Poisons have no positive effects, and potions have no negative effects. 20% to all mixtures, 50% to all beneficial, 50% to all restore, 50% to all poisons. Okay, I don't see anywhere in here where it says uh, that you can be immune. Oh, is it here? No, this is just a bunch of health and stamina. Holy crap, 50% stamina regen. This is insane. These perks, alchemy, the perks in alchemy are insane, dudes. I can finally take this, by the way. It said level 25, but I'm pretty sure it was level 50 instead or something, or maybe level 40, because I couldn't take it at 25. Night vision can see in the dark. I might take that purely for your benefit. But none of these seem to be... No, yeah, none of these are immune to paralysis, which is what I was told, I think, by someone. And it might be a vanilla thing, too. Could just be vanilla. I'm hesitant to put any more into this as well. Like, there are perks I could get in here that are pretty good. But, like, I don't know if I really want to go into this that much. Because I think I want to go into heavy armor instead. So I kind of want to just keep stockpiling perk points I get from leveling up that. We can go in the water, or we can go up. Well, let's not waste a good opportunity to get a stamina buff, I guess. Let's get our, get our soap out. So we can feel clean and attractive and have more stamina regen during this dungeon crawl. Are you going to do your thing, my guy? Oh, there you go. Don't run away, Torchbearer. Gotta get clean here. Alright, we good. We got all of our stuff on. Yeah, armor. Yep, we're good. Oh, crap. I think I just lost my buffs because I got in the water. I'm pretty sure if you get too wet, you get, like, fully submersed, you lose your soap buff. Which seems, I don't know, seems kind of silly. If you're clean, you're clean, you know? Is this thing loaded? No, it's not. Now it's loaded.
if this is a dead end, I will be very disappointed. Well, it's not a dead end, but definitely something that we do later on, I guess. Because we can't get through here yet. Probably something we do later on in the quest. Alright. Don't act... Don't ask questions about the weird sex dungeon back here. Did you stay up here? Were you just like, nah, I don't think I want to jump down there. I'm just going to stay here. I mean, honestly, you're probably the smartest one of us all, but, you know. Not a good test of your loyalty. Okay, back we go. <coughs> Okay, I would say we should get out of here. I will do vampire stuff as I come to it. I'm not gonna like beeline for doing vampire stuff if that makes sense. Just cutting down some trees over here for firewood. Nothing back. Oh, there is, there is a thing back here. There's a cave back here. Mossy Glen Cave. That's a bear. Many bears. This doesn't sound good, boys. Bear stew for months, boys. Bear stew for months. Okay. There's more coming. Or they're fighting each other. What are they fighting over? You can get that skeever. The hell? Oh my god. There's bears stuck in the ceiling. No wonder he was so pissed off. You whiffed that one. You whiffed that one, Uthgert. That was a big whiff. Hey, I'm glad I'm not the only one that whiffs that bad on occasion. So that's everything back here? There's, what is, there's like a secondary... This is Dayspring Canyon. Is there like a secondary exit here? also do okay if this is the wrong one we have to go back through and see what's on the other side i'm pretty sure this is the wrong one i mean this is or this is the one we came in at yeah okay so let's go back through here and go out the other side this is like a back door to the place easy to find like easier to get to the back of the quest giver type thing We'll see. 
Yeah, definitely a different... Okay, it just runs back along through, I guess. Not really a big deal. Just a very small mini dungeon. It goes back along through there. With some bears in it. Out of stamina, so I lost my stamina buff. Gonna pop some stamina. Just some crappy ones. Very pretty back here. Did I pass this coming in? Or is this a separate area? water cool and refreshing or is it freezing it's cool and refreshing surprisingly it's like glacial runoff it's pretty cool and lots of fish for me to catch actual fishing nah catching fish with your hands that's the way. Uh-oh. <laughs> mud crab. Big mud crab. Another day, another victory. You killed that mud crab real good, man. Cool. Gives me Subnautica vibes. You would have to think this water would be pretty damn cold, though. A bit, a bit more than cool and refreshing. More like freezing my ass off. Levels of cold. Just got no stamina, huh? Pretty sure I already did food. Okay, well... I think it's time we got out of here and kept on doing whatever quest we were doing before this. Which might be over this way. Get out of here. Yeah, looks correct. Back to the grind. <laughs>